Howdy folks, this is Billy with The Outdoors Missouri and uh, today I'm going to do another vaping video. I really enjoy this Evic VTC Mini. It's great stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I liked my sample box. <clears throat> I didn't do a review on my first sample box. So, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I liked it so much that I upgraded my order to the big sample box. So we're going to do a little bit, little video on that. I wanted to talk to you about some of the, my first box, um, three of them I loved, three of them, I, mm, two of them I was eh, you know, kind of okay, but the last one, one of them was really, really bad. So I want you to understand, <clears throat> I don't subscribe to Zample Box because I have a lack of juice. That is not why I have Zample Box. I have Zample Box because it helps me get outside of the box. I will order the same three juices over and over and over again until the cows come home because I'm just that kind of person. This helps me get outside of the box. So I, I get excited every time I get a sample box. And uh, I'll put a link in the description. On uh, I have a referral code there. That you can get 10% off your first sample box. Um, I would say if you're, if you're nervous about it, get the small box like I did. But I have a feeling that most of you are going to like it so much that... Um, that you're gonna upgrade because I think this is a great value. And uh, let's see what I got here. Let's move this out of the way. All right. So this is the the menu here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a uh, several juices here. Cool menthol. Oh, that was one I didn't really care for in my flavor. Uh, I put no menthol, but that's okay. And uh, hmm. we got Formula One, JFK, Light Tobacco, Lumberjack, Shivering Zebra, Don P, Gamma Custard, uh, Kryptonite, Lucky 13, and Prime. That's the one I suggested. And my root box has a retail value of 130 bucks, And I didn't pay that for it, so I'm happy. That's a good thing. And so we got our little nice piece of foam here. And look at this, let's see. Oh, I got a sticker. And Zample Box is big on community. They have a, a Facebook thing um, that I talk on quite a bit. It gives me a little rating card. And uh, power to the flavor. I like that, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is my first one. This is uh, Synergy Liquid. Synergy Prime. This is the one I got. It was the first juice I tasted out of my very first sample box and I favorited it and so I got it again. Um, it's just a tiny bottle. I wish I, I need to buy a big 30 ml bottle of this stuff. This stuff is fantastic. If you like tobaccos, this is fantastic. Synergy Prime, uh, Synergy Liquid, and uh, I'll probably put a link down below to their website if you want to pick up a bottle of this stuff. Um, so I've had this before. We're not going to rate that because I already know it's awesome. Now, the way I'm going to sample these, I'm only going to sample a few of them, uh, a, f a few that I think that I'll like, and um, let you know what I'm thinking. I'm going to take my Ego One Mega off, and I'm going to put my tugboat on. And the reason I do that is, one, this is a fresh build, so very fresh. It's not even been wet yet. And uh, I run it in power mode. So on my um, Ego uh, Joytech Evic, e you push that three times and then you push the this button here on this side and it changes it to temperature control and then I just vape it on power. I don't want to get huge clouds. I'm, I'm after the flavor. So let's see here. Out of all of these, let's see which one I want to try first. Tangerine and Graham Cracker Custard. This is J JFK. Let's see if we can find it. Formula One. Shivering Zebra. Lumberjack. So it must be down here. This thing is packaged really super nice. Graham cracker custard. Is that what I said? Yep. Okay. So 
first impression, bottle's nice. Um, they all are really. Let's see, it says you can't hardly read anything on the bottle because it's clear and the writing's really obscured. But um, not to be used by persons under the age of 18. I guess that's a disclosure. Okay. So I like. I, I really don't. I haven't been vaping long enough to know what I like. And don't make fun of me on my build. It's, I'm not a professional. I'm just trying to make it out here in the country by myself. So get this cracked open. Let's see what kind of. Oh. It's got that orange, like, um. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. The orange that, um. It reminds me of orange medicine, like uh, orange flavored Motrin. That's the orange flavor they're using. So I don't know if I'm going to be a big fan, but I said that about the the other, one of the other juices I got, and I ended up vaping it all because I liked it. It seems like they have to sit for a while. This is a pretty low build, 0.25 ohms, so I'm going to have to turn it up quite a bit. What I like to do, especially with my uh, Joytech, is I like to put it in bypass mode. So bypass it, yeah, it wants to run 67. This is a fresh battery, so let's see what that vape's like. It's not bad, it's kind of creamy. Graham crackery. I think this might need some steep time. It might need to kind of mature a little bit. Kind of sit in the dark. So I'm put it down here. It's not bad. It just doesn't doesn't taste like it's matured really. So I don't know how everybody else does this but what I do a lot of times is I'll just sit here and vape this dry like with just some pure VG to kind of help cleanse it before I go on to my next juice. So we're going to pause the video and I'm going to vape this dry and we're going to try another one. Alright folks, I just uh, vaped this kind of clean so I got the orange and graham cracker out of it. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's just I think it needs some time. So the next one we're going to try here <clears throat> is called Lumberjack from Burley. Um, somebody broke into my sample box and already tasted it. And I won't let you know who that somebody is, but they're running the camera right now. So we're going to put a couple drops of this stuff on here. We're not going to fill it up. Just put a couple drops. We just want to taste it. So Burley. It says that it's a French vanilla um, blend and tobacco. So oh man. That's good. It's not too sweet and it's got those perfect hints of that bold tobacco. That perfect amount of it. Mm. It could be a little bit darker, but no, I like that. That's a good one. All right, we're going to pause the video and move on to the next one. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I got that one cleared out. That was not a bad one. It was definitely a, something I'm going to vape on some more. Uh, moving on. <clears throat> one thing that I got in my last sample box was uh, Fat Cloud Skittles. And I got a house juice from my local vape store that was Skittles. And the flavor was almost identical, but it didn't push the clouds. And I imagine it's because of a different VGPG blend. But man, that thing blew some big clouds. So um, the reason I mention that is because this is Zebra. Um, or 
our shivering zebra and it's supposed to be menthol fruit striped gum so you take fruit striped gum add a little menthol to it and this is what you end up with so i'm going to drip a little bit of this now if in case you guys are wondering what i'm what my build is uh it's a 24 gauge five wraps dual coil it's reading about 0.25 ohms um It's not building up a lot of heat, which I don't like a real hot, dense vape. I, I like a cooler vape, and that's why I love my temperature control. But this is how I test all my juice, because I think it's the fairest way to test them. Um, I can vape out anything, any flavor that's in there, it seems like, pretty well, by putting a little VG on top. So let's try this. This is uh, Shivering Zebra by Good Life. Good Life Vapor. Let's see. It's definitely menthol. <clears throat> Woo, that's cold. <laughs> um, I'm not getting the fruity notes as much. Getting a real heavy um, mint, menthol. It's definitely a menthol. That fruitiness is starting to come around. I think maybe a, a shake and a steep and it'll probably mature a little bit. But... Chucking out vapor pretty good. I'm not complaining. So um, it's really cold, really icy vape. So uh, definitely in the cold weather, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Winter's coming on here in northern Missouri. Uh, this is our coldest night yet, I think, so far. 28 degrees outside. The wood stove is a burning. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's vaped up in here. It's getting pretty cloudy. I'm going to vape this out. And I think we'll, we'll do one more. I can definitely see why um, people don't do a lot of tasting reviews because it takes time. And, you gotta, you know, something like this I'm going to probably have to re-wick for because um, it's so strong. We'll see. But So we're going to pause the video. All right, folks. So got this one cleaned out, ready for the next one. Um, <coughs> this next one we're going to try is from Burley, uh, which was the same ones that we did a minute ago. Um, they had the Lumberjack, which was the good French vanilla blended blend and tobacco. So uh, I'm going to try another one of the, theirs. It's, um, it's just light tobacco, that's all it says. And I smoked cigarettes for a long time, and I still I like coffees, I like tobaccos. Well, it's definitely light. I can't smell it. So, we'll see. So this is a 50% VG blend. Let's get some drops on here. Oh, yeah. That is a very nice tobacco. Yep, I like that. So it, it kind of tastes like um, when you break open a Marlboro Light, the box, and you kind of get that tobacco smell. That's that's exactly what it tastes like. Not a fan of Marlboro Lights. You might not like this, but I, Marlboro Lights are kind of fancy for what I smoked. I smoke cheaper cigarettes, but every once in a while I smoke a Marlboro Light. And the boat putting out some good good vapor, good clouds. So uh, so far, I've done two juices from Burley. I think they're definitely a winner. Um, I will put a, a link for Burley as well. Um, I think if you haven't tried them yet, um, definitely give them a shot. <coughs> um, I will I will grade these all in another video and give you my full rounded opinion on it. I just vaped with a couple for you guys tonight. Super excited on uh, getting my sample box today. That is a really good vape. But um, I'm definitely uh, definitely a big fan of sample box, guys. So if you're stuck in your same old grind or you're just not, you don't know what you like, because that's where I'm at right now. I really, I'm not sure what I like. Uh, so sample box has definitely helped me do that. 
Um, like I said, I'll put a link below for them and a couple of these juices for the video that I did. Um, thanks again, Zample Box, for, you know, I haven't gotten one yet that's disgusting. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best I can. The other thing is we just opened a group uh, on Facebook. It's uh, Northern Mo Vapors on Facebook. So if you want to join our group, feel free. You don't have to be in Northern Missouri. It's just a little group I put together with a couple friends of mine. Um, it's just a little vape chat group. So come see us on Facebook. I'll, I guess I can put a link for that too. So I'll just put some links on the video. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I do outdoors videos too, so give me a like. Uh, subscribe if you like, and have a good time, guys.